in today's video, I am going to show you guys how to manually chain VPNs together. Let's go ahead and get started with the video. You can hide no longer. You now have the world looking directly at you. Up roll, red roll, engaged. I have my Malvad VPN app open and running on my Ubuntu desktop. It has created a secure connection. So the VPN is running and connected to a VPN server that is located in San Jose, California. If I open up a terminal, I can actually use the curl command and I can run curl if config dot me and that will basically from the command line grab the external IP address for this machine and what I get back is an IP address of 199.116.118.239 you can go to a website such as what is my IP address dot com we can see that it is coming back as in San Jose, California, in the United States. That is one VPN tunnel. The concept of chaining VPNs is where we are going to set up another machine, and that machine is also going to connect to a VPN. But I'm going to be using two different Malvad VPN apps. Each one is connecting to a server somewhere, so we are chaining two VPNs together. This is also referred to as a double VPN, a VPN server cascading, and multi-hop VPN. Okay, so in my Kali Linux VM, I am going to go out to malvad.net, and then from the home page, I'm going to click on the downloads tab. And then once I'm on the downloads page, you can see for me it automatically recognized that I am on a Linux machine. But we are basically going through this list and figuring out which type of operating system we are on. Are we on a Windows, Mac OS, iOS, Android, etc.? We know that we are on a Linux machine. And if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the instructions uh, for installing the app. Now, typically I'd probably do this by um, following along with this section using the uh, Malvad repository. But because I'm just trying to do a quick and dirty installation for demonstration purposes, um, I'm actually going to just download the dot uh, deb uh, file. Now I have already done this to save time. This will show up in your downloads directory. So if I CD into my downloads directory, we see that we have the file right here. It is called Malvad VPN 2024.3 underscore AMD 64.deb. The final step in this is going to be to actually do the install, and I do that by running the command sudo apt install dot forward slash followed by the name of that file. And the dot forward slash is because I am in the downloads directory. So I'm sure that this question will be asked. So let me go ahead and just answer it now. You can also do this by running sudo apt install. And I can do the full path to the location of the download, in which case I would be running forward slash home forward slash Cali forward slash downloads then followed by the name of the dot deb and I will hit enter provide it my password and it will begin the download okay so the installation has finished you might see something like this at the end where it says that the download is performed unsandboxed as root. 
permission denied don't worry about that the install has uh, completed successfully so if I run the command which malvad we will now get back that it is located in user bin malvad I can also do malvad dash dash version and we get the version number as of the recording of this video this is the latest version also if I come up here to the upper left I should be able to see an icon for Malvad now if I type in Malvad we see that it does pop up right here we do have an icon for it uh, I'll go ahead and click on that and I'm going to open this up so when installing this and opening this for the first time we see here uh, first thing that we see is the uh, version which is 2024.3 20, I'll click on got it and the first thing that we have to do is we have to enter the account number uh, assuming that you have already purchased uh, VPN time and have an account number this is when you would go ahead and enter that in so obviously without showing you my actual account number let me go ahead and enter that in okay so I am now logged in and because this is the first time that I've done this we get a pop-up it says a new device was created and it has assigned this uh, device the name of brave goat now just so that you understand how this works every time you log in a new new device is created so if I log out this device that is referred to as brave goat it will be deleted and when I log in again a brand new device will be created so this particular device brave goat this is only going to be used for this video and then I will log out and create a new one hello world this is mr. fresh if you haven't done so already subscribe to the channel man and like the video I'm going to minimize this screen a little bit and uh, let's let's go back to the original starting point so I have my Kali Linux virtual machine running right here but this is on my host machine which is an Ubuntu machine now inside of my Kali Linux VM I have Malvad VPN running but I do not have it connected it is an unsecured connection inside of my virtual virtual machine now if I go back over to my terminal and I run the curl if config.me command I get back this IP address this IP address is for this server in San Jose California now if I go back into my Kali Linux uh, VM and I run that same command curl if config.me we will get back the same exact IP address which makes sense because our Kali Linux virtual machine is going out to the internet but in order to get to the internet it has to first go through the host machine so it would make sense that it's gonna give us that same IP address back so I'm going to click on USA and I'll go to uh, a New York server and I'll click on that so we now are creating a secure connection to a server in in New York New York if I go back to the terminal and I rerun that command we now see we have a different IP address I'm just trying to emphasize this to make sure that everyone understands what is happening now in my Kali Linux VM it's connected to a VPN in New York and it's giving me back this IP address but this is only inside of my VM so outside of my VM on my host machine it is still connected to the server in San Jose so this is the concept of chaining VPNs together we have chained two VPNs together inside of my Kali Linux VM my connection to the internet is being encrypted and sent through this this tunnel and then it's being 
decrypted and re-encrypted and going through the second tunnel. But there are obviously going to be downsides to this. And the main downside is going to be um, that you most likely are going to have a slower connection because of the fact that you're using two different servers in two different places. So why don't we go ahead and quickly test that to see um, what our connection speed is. I'm going to go to my host machine first and I'm going to go over here to the website speedtest.net and I'm going to click on go and we're just going to run a quick and dirty speed test. While that is running, I'm going to come back over to my Kali Linux VM and I'm going to do the same thing inside of my VM. I'm going to go to speedtest.net I will go ahead and click go and while we wait for that I'm going to go back to my host machine pull up that speed test the results from the speed test and we can see that we have a uh, download speed of 1.115. Now let me go back to my Kali Linux VM and see if we have the results back from that yet. And it looks like we do. It's saying that we have a download speed in megabytes per second as dot 49. So just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison here, on our host machine, we have 1.15, and inside of our Kali Linux VM, we have .49. So it is significantly slower, as would be expected. Now that was what I'm referring to as a VPN chain or a double VPN. You do also have what's called a multi-hop VPN. Now, for me, when I think of a multi-hop VPN, this is where I'm thinking of a VPN that does everything that I just showed you. It does that internally. That's what I think of as a multi-hop VPN. So basically, instead of us manually chaining those two VPNs together like we just did, I can actually go into the app. Not every VPN service provider is going to offer this. This is considered an advanced feature, but Malvad VPN does offer this. So if I go into the settings for my Malvad VPN, I can come down to VPN settings, and then I come down to the WireGuard settings, scroll down a little bit, and we have this section right here, enable multi-hop. It says that it increases the anonymity by routing your traffic into one WireGuard server and out another, making it harder to trace. So I will go ahead and enable that. It says that this setting does increase latency. So I will go ahead and click enable anyway. And we now have multi-hop enabled. We're not done yet. I need to go back out to the uh, to the to the main interface for this app and you see that we're still connected to the server in San Jose so now what I need to do is I need to set the entry and the exit node so I can go down to switch location and first I'll choose the entry now if you were doing this with multi-hop as well if as well as with the manual configuration that I showed you previous to this, you might want to make your first hop or your entry node. Um, in, the, in the first example, this would have been my, my VPN on the host machine. You would want to make that particular connection to perhaps a server in a country that respects privacy a little bit more. Uh, it has stronger data protection laws. So we might be making a connection to somewhere in Switzerland or Sweden, for example. So I'm going to set my entry node as something in Sweden. I'll just pick uh, Stockholm 
and then pick one of these servers in Stockholm. So that is our entry node. Now I'll set the exit node. And for the exit node, I will go ahead and click something in uh, the United States. So I'll look for USA and we will do a server in uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. And we now have our exit node. So this is the concept of multi-hopping or a multi-hop VPN. We're able to do this all within one VPN itself. Malvad VPN does offer this. A lot of other VPN service providers probably don't offer this. Okay, so to briefly recap what we have done in this video, I showed you how to set up and enable what I refer to as a double VPN. We used Ubuntu as our host machine running uh, Malvad VPN, and then we used a Kali Linux virtual machine that was also running a, another device with Malvad VPN. I also showed you how to set up and enable what is referred to as a multi-hop VPN in which we actually go into our main VPN and we enable and set up the multi-hop advanced feature and then we create an entry and an exit node. I do also suggest that once again, if you were doing a double VPN, that you make your first VPN in a country that has stronger data protection laws, such as Switzerland and or Sweden. And then your second VPN, make that VPN reach out to a server that is actually in the country in which you are located, which might speed things up a little bit for you and decrease the latency. That is gonna be it for this video. Hope that you guys got something out of this. As always, if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, like the videos, and stay fresh. We'll see you in the next one.